Welcome, XRP Collective. Friday, November 5th. 11 plus 5 is 16. That references the name of God. But the 7 and 9. 1 and 1 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. Lots of 7s, lots of 9s, lots of 8s popping up right now. All right, take a look at this character right here. Why is Coinbase so excited about relisting when they won't give anybody their Songbird? They won't give anybody their Flare tokens. Hmm. Something doesn't smell right. Just saying. We're going to cover a lot of stuff today. A lot of little tidbits for you to go back over. But this is what it's all about. God's universal language is math. And for centuries, people have studied math. Fibonacci ratio. The basic blueprint for how everything evolves. You're going to learn something new today, too. But for me, this whole process has been like this every single day. I didn't get past Algebra 2. But take a look at this right here. 777. We had a nice jet airliner pop up. A Boeing 777. So again, we're going to cover a lot of little things. Like this post right here. I'm sorry, I don't understand how to use the zoom feature very well. But this was... This was a post. It all ties back to the egg chart, ties back to 22, 22 and a half, 22 days. We're in the final cycles as everything wraps up. So go back, pull up that reveal. And again, it's not about you trying to understand how it was created. I don't even understand it. And I'm sitting here with the Lord getting the download. Here's another important post that we did, a reveal. Okay? It gives dates. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect math proofs. I ain't making this stuff up, everybody. By divine order, God has made it so. And here's something coming up that is really interesting that I posted about earlier. And that was Powell's interview on 60 Minutes and how they went back and edited out the parts where he said the Federal Reserve, being a central bank, can give money whatever value they want. They've deleted it, but they didn't delete it out of the transcript. They kind of modified it a little bit. But this is ultimately where all this is headed, and this is what God, this is what God has ordained for each and every one of us. As He's revealed, this is about saving our financial system. It's about giving back to us everything that the enemy has stolen, stolen, going all the way back through your entire family lineage. Because the word says, once you know the enemy is stolen from you. He owes you seven times. I'm 14th generation American. That's a lot that's been taken. But God said our generation, his chosen, are receiving it. Notice I didn't say we'll receive it. We are receiving it. And it's all happening through XRP. One of my favorite movies, this is kind of what it feels like it's just this mystery every single day I'm in awe I have no idea what we're going to do every single day and sometimes it feels like this I'm just receiving from him what he wants me to know and what he wants me to begin to work up it's like a software project I don't know the end I don't have the end in mind and baby am I roaring is he roaring? 
And once you become your true identity, you will live limitlessly. And by that, everything you can imagine and think, it's there almost instantaneously. Because when we praise and we thank, we're not doing that out of hope. We're doing that out of gratitude that we've already got it. Here's where we evolve to. We evolve to excellence. This becomes who we are, how we operate, how we treat people. Our daily activity centers around excellence, no matter what we're having to deal with. Because if God is in it, it can't be stopped. And you've seen posts I've done where, you know, right out of scripture, God says, you know, what God puts his hand to, no man can take a thunder. And it's not happening here. Many of you saw this post that I did. This was just one of those moments where we were in Revelation. Actually, lyrics to a song, I modified them and made them about our true identity, where we don't talk about what we hope for. We praise and thank for what we already have. Does it mean that we've received the manifestation yet? No. But it's on the way. And that's how we build a grateful heart. Here's a great post to go back and read. 717. It's all about the DNA number 4. XRP. It's about 17. The number 17. And you can read here. I'm not going to read it. Exactly what the number 17 represents. But it's about conquering. And it's been at the essence of XRP. You know, XRP is a divine creation. It was created before time. And God has proven that through the math, the gematria, and many, many other proofs that no man could even begin to put together. Here's another one to take a look at. This is about sevens, about the master chief. And I think you know who that is. We talked about this. It gives us approximations of a time period. It isn't important for us to nail a date down. God already knows the date. It's kind of like trying to say, God, you know what? I know, I know when this is going to happen. And he says, no, you don't. Only I do. I know every head. I know every hair in your head. I know when this is going to happen. I know when that's going to happen. Don't worry about it. Let me take the wheel. Here's one of the great reveal posts. Again, I'm just putting this up there so that you can go back and and identify it. We're going to cover the essence of this today. That's what's important. That's what you asked for. Here, what, here was uh, part number two, where we talk about how the price was determined for what the Fed will value the world reserve currency at. And here we are. We're above the clouds. We can see it all. And it's a very interesting perspective because you don't get lost in the trees. And here's both of them side by side. The one on the left is part one. And in part one, we talk about how he revealed this to me. How did we get from $5,975 as our gross number to $22,500? wasn't just made up. The evidence is here in these two reveals, his greatest reveals of all times. Peace.
people are going to be looking at this, trying to figure out exactly how this was even possible. How did they figure this out? Well, no man figured it out. It was God revealing to man. This wasn't my discovery. Like I've always said, he's the pen. He's the one filled with the knowledge. I just get to receive it. I get to hold the pen. I get, I'm the scribe. I'm the messenger. But let's go ahead and we'll, we're going to go through some very specific examples to break this down. XRP was designed to carry a value between 10,000 and 35,000. And this came right from Brad Garlinghouse. And even Jimmy Valley has said the exact same thing. So what does it mean to carry? You know, when the Lord emphasized this to me, the first thing I thought about was a, a mother carrying a child and how they, their body holds it and they support it while they're, while they're moving around waiting to give birth. So they're nurturing it. So it's very fair to say that the Fed and Brad have taken care of this responsibility by keeping the by 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 carrying the value between ten thousand and thirty five thousand for us while things are moving along. Brad's never deviated from that. Jimmy Valley's never deviated from that. Now, God has brought me up to speed to reveal the essence of that. What do you think? So this is what's important today. If you don't learn anything outside of this, you need to understand that there are two values for XRP. The Fed will give XRP a value as the world reserve currency to tokenize all the global financial market assets like insurance. The value will be established, and here's the key, only after the Fed buys back all the retail XRP. This is not what retail holders will get. How does it get to 100,000? The Fed is going to use Bitcoin as a comparable asset. To calm the public and help them accept that they've given XRP a value of $100,000. A value enough to tokenize all the debt and ha and have extra and have margins for 32 years now on the right hand side this is you and me retail holders will get paid to sell their XRP to the Fed to implement it as the world reserve currency in two years there's a two-year statute for holding that's why we're getting paid two years early the retail price is not the value of XRP as the world reserve currency that's the key they have to buy it first we're going to get paid twenty two thousand five hundred dollars per coin once we sell two years early sometime in in beginning of 2024 they'll announce xrp has a value of one hundred thousand dollars as the world reserve currency and it's all good for everybody so are we going to get a hundred thousand dollars no, we know better. So let's take a look at why it was designed to carry this value. And wh what is it being why has it been carrying it for us? The value between 10,000 and 35,000 is found by adding the two together. Then dividing by 2. 
10,000 plus 35,000 is 45,000 divided by 2, 22,500. Hiding in plain sight. No one saw this coming. No one. Not even Mr. Valley. But it doesn't matter. He's been carrying this just like Brad since the beginning. And I've told you before, that was the first video I saw as my introduction to XRP, thinking it was going to be $589, which the $589 was not a price point. It was a factor to find a place in the Fibonacci chart to multiply a certain number in order to get to the 4,025. And it was like, Yahoo. But why did the value change from 59.75? The Lord made it super clear. Here we were back in, in 2012 when they began to implement this into existence. And the debt of the world was nowhere near what it is today. And in actuality, it grew by 3.75 times. So if you take 59.75 times 3.75, which is the factor the Lord revealed, you get our number. This is the, this is the base. This is the markup. This is what we receive gross. This is what will end up net. So we, we, we are, we got a 3.75 times advancement from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that factor is consistent with all the other calculations that came through in those other two reveals. So that's why it had to go up. So we have XRP as a reserve currency in green. We have the gross that we're going to receive in the blue and the red is what we end up net. Are we excited? You bet we are. That's why we're praising and thanking him every single day for what he has already done. So God has now shown us that the valuation for XRP as the world reserve currency was determined at the close of XRP's first day of trading. This blew me away. When we started this project, the Lord and I were working right in here, right in this twenty-five to fifty thousand dollar number. We came in, we came here, and then we be, we began to work backward. Well, from the beginning, He showed me that XRP has a strong correlation with the cycle for Jupiter, eleven point eight six years. Well, if you take the closing price for XRP at the end of its first day and multiply it by two, you get approximately 11.86. God uses multiplication. It's called God's spiral. Everything advances by a factor of two. And this is how we come to the, this point where we talked about the sevens, right? And what God said is, I'm in between and I'm in the middle of everything, including XRP, including the price that's being established. And if God isn't in the middle of it, it isn't going to work. And that's why we're at that point in time when it's now his time and he's taking control. And I posted about some changes, some new things that are happening for the good. And there's the proof right there. He's in the middle right there. 777 at 100,000. 777 using WD Gans 360 degree circle. He said, God is love. Yes, he is. It all works out. It's perfect math. This is the ultimate and final perfect proof. Remember I told you the other day, he said we're coming full circle. 
perfect circle. He's bringing us back to that very first reveal from May 13th. Everything is everything has come back to where we started. If he's not in it, it doesn't work. And that's why he has to be in this for XRP. And I don't say that with doubt. I say that with enthusiasm, with courage and strength that comes from him. It's that knowing that you know he is a great father. I mean, look what he did. 59.75 to 22.5. He didn't just multiply it times one or two. He multiplied it by 3.75 times. And there's a reason for that. Too much to go over. You don't need to know that. All you need to know is it's right here in front of you. It's like a Nobel, it's like a Nobel Peace Prize piece of information. It's for humanity, for his chosen. Okay, let's come back to some basics here. Let's come back one last time. XRP is for the world reserve currency. The Fed must control 100%. How is this done? The plan includes a 100% buyback of all retail XRP. The price is based on the Fed given value. Now that's for the world reserve currency. And that's after they buy back everything from the retail holders. The Fed will use $100,000 to have all the money to take care of everything for, for 32 more years. The Fed will use 22,500 as our buyout value. And of course, we can do the math. And I have to give credit where credit's due. This man is championed Holding on to what Brad Garlinghouse said that XRP would carry a value of ten to thirty five thousand dollars. Originally that was the intent for the world reserve currency value, not the retail holders. But that's changed because the global debt has increased so much that ten or thirty-five thousand dollars won't cut it anymore. And they can't afford to have to go back over and over and over and over and over again to raise it. Now in the case for XRP part three, it's all outlined. Twenty five hundred dollars a year. $2,500 was simply a factor the Lord revealed to show how it could move up. But remember, that was the understanding in 2012. This is God's math. This is the new math. This is the multiplication. This is the restoration. This is the prosperity. This is the return of everything that was ever stolen in your family lineage for this time, this purpose now with XRP. Please go back, pull up the reveals, just get a feel for them. It's not important that you understand how the math was derived. 
It's like when I used to take exams. I was terrible at taking exams, but I was smart. I had a photographic memory until I learned how to take exams, especially multiple choice. You don't learn all the answer, all the possible answers. You learn the right answer. You read the multiple choice question and you read the right answer. You never read the other answers. Why? Because when you are taking that exam and that question pops up, the right answer just lifts itself off the paper. Why? Because that's what you put into your head. And that's all you have to do here. Keep it simple and just continue to give him all the praise, all the thanksgiving. Because we know at the end of the day what he's done for us. We know where we came from. And he didn't turn us away. He welcomed us with open arms. He is so in love with you. And that was in the proof too. And that should have blown you away. So again, I will never stop thanking you, oh my Lord. And I encourage you to make this the greatest gift that you've ever been taught. I know this has been a lot, but these are the people that hope you don't find it. On Twitter, on YouTube. And you know what? We're just going to have to pray for them. Be blessed. Be his love. God bless.